Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at spmap, uh, a command in Stata that produces maps like this. So check this out. Uh, how do we get those nice maps? First, I'm going to create a working directory. If we use the working directory, this will be really easy. So you want to install these two commands. With every map, there are three files associated with a map, at least. There's the shape file, and that's a SHP file. There is a DBF file. There is an SHX file. Now, uh, we only need the shape file and the database file. Let's go ahead and check out those two files. This is the shape file, and this is the DBF file. In your Windows Explorer, these two files look like this. So this is the command. Uh, clear clears out everything that's in Stata at this point. Uh, there's no data in Stata, uh, but that's okay. We'll keep it. Keep this in the file in the program. Shape to, D, to DTA using the shape file. It's going to create two databases, two DTA files, counties, and county coordinates. Let me go ahead and type it in. So what we can see here is this is the county file, the counties, and we have all counties in the US. We have their FIPS codes, state FIPS codes, county FIPS codes, and then the uh, FIPS codes for the state and the county. And we also have identifiers here, ID one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So each county, has a unique identifier called a FIPS code, F-I-P-S. And in this case, it's called GeoID. So once you've generated the two DTA files, you uh, want to use your main uh, data file. Now the map that we want to create is a map of income. Uh, let's go ahead and use that income data file and then merge it with the counties file that we were just looking at. And you can see uh, some of the observations in the counties uh, DTA file isn't matched with my income data. This is okay, this is gonna happen. Uh, but totally we have 3,108 matching observations between the two DTA files. We can look and see the observations here that are not matching. We can uh, sort on this merge variable. We can see that all the observations here that are only found in the using data set. And we can see that there's no income variable here. Uh, some of these uh, observations, these are not in the contiguous United States. And so the uh, US income data will not con have, will not contain income values for these uh, counties. So let's just keep the, the data that's been merged one-to-one, -one, the data that is found in both data sets. And here's the spmap command. Now, income per household, this is the variable that we want uh, overlaid, mapped over the USA, right? And we're gonna use the county coordinates and those are the county coordinates up here that we've made uh, from our shape to DTA command. Okay. Then we want to choose the ID and the uh, color of the map. And there are several different colors for this map, but let's choose this one called blues. And there it is. So a couple things about this map. There's not a lot of variation in color. We have uh, four different colors here, uh, ranging from dark blue to really light blue. A uh, couple things we might want to do is maybe we can use a different color scheme to maybe give us more contrast. We have F color here set to blues too. This is a little better. We can easily see areas where, where there is a lot of uh, high income relative to the non-mover population. Now, what may, may be kind of interesting 
is, well, we have four colors here showing the different uh, levels of income. Uh, maybe it might be better to have six. We can have even more variation in color for our map. So I'm going to use this command, SP map again, and I'm going to change the options to show CL number of six. And we can see, I think, I think this even looks a little better, right? We have some areas here that are really light, um, but that's okay, right? We have even more variation in color. I think this looks good, but we can't see any outlines for the states. What would be nice here is if we had state outlines, then we could easily, more easily find uh, specific cities, and uh, uh, in the regions and uh, even specific counties might be easier to find with state outlines. So shape to DTA, we're gonna use a state file instead of a county file. And we're gonna use the county coordinates just like before. But now there's an option for polygon. And we want to overlay the outlines of states uh, here and we're gonna use this DTA file, state chord. Now this DTA file was created from this shape to DTA command that I just ran. And we want the outline color to be black. Okay, and this doesn't look great. The state coordinates file that I just created with shape to DTA, it still includes Alaska, Hawaii, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, Northern Mariana Islands, uh, and uh, let's see, American Samoa, and so on, right? All the unincorporated territories, uh, various islands, and Alaska, Hawaii. We don't really want those in our map. You can see it doesn't come out well showing these other regions. So one thing we can do, uh, we can eliminate these states and unincorporated territories. So let's use the state coordinates file and drop those observations. I'll use the state coordinates file. We're gonna drop those IDs for Alaska, Hawaii, and the unincorporated territories. I'm gonna save it. So we're gonna use the income sample data we're gonna merge again, and then we're gonna keep those merged observations that match. Now, let's try that spmap command again. Nice, there it is. The, you can't really see the outline when it's black of the states. So how can we do this? Um, let's make the outline of counties gray. And then we can keep the outline of states as a black. Okay. And I think this looks a little better. Here we can clearly see the outlines of states. And we can still see outlines of counties in gray. One other thing that we can do, we can use a method of, uh, for the map that shows standard deviations. Here are standard deviations, okay? And if you use standard deviations, I think this looks even a little bit nicer. You can easily see the contrasting uh, outline, the, the contrasting uh, counties. Looking at standard deviations, I think this is really the, the way to go. Another method you can do is generating income values that are z-scores. We want to generate an income variable that is the value of income, and then we subtract the mean, and we divide by the standard deviation. This would be similar to the standard deviation uh, CL method that we just looked at. Then uh, your mean will be equal to zero, and the standard deviation is one. Now, let's use SPMAP, and let's take a look. similar to what we had. Now, uh, we have our z-scores here, but look at this legend. The legend doesn't look great. It goes from 1.6 uh, 
zero 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 one to fourteen point nine five zero four five for this dark blue uh, area. That's not great uh, for a legend. We want to make a legend that's easily interpretable, that e easily communicates information. So we can actually change this and make a custom legend. Let's do that. So here's the final line. SP map, we want our income Z variable. Oh, we want a legend title of Z scores. Let's let everyone know that these are Z scores. We'll use the same blue color, but we can change this as well. And we want a custom CL method here. So I'm choosing a CL method that's custom with breaks at the standard deviations. And the polygon option remains the same. All right, I think this looks much better. Here's our Z scores uh, from two to three, one to two, zero to one, negative one to zero, negative two to negative one, negative three to negative two. This is wonderful. We have an easily interpretable legend. Uh, we can easily see the state outlines. We can also see county outlines in light gray, and we can locate uh, cities that are of interest. The steps that I've taken are loosely based on this website from Kevin Crow and William Gould from the Stata Corporation. And you can see the same steps here that I've taken. And they also generate a nice US map. The FIPS codes, if you're ever curious and you want to maybe remove certain states or certain counties, hit Control F. You can easily search for uh, Hawaii, Alaska, and then you can easily know Okay, the state FIPS code is 15, and so on. Now colors. If you check out this website, you can see the different palettes available to, for SP map. We can see these different color schemes. Something like a sequential color scheme would look nice with our map. Something like a qualitative color scheme would not look great with our map. A diverging color scheme might look okay because we have positive Z scores and negative Z scores. But here, I'm actually partial to the reds two color scheme. I think this probably looks the best. And you can see I changed to this here by F color. So you can try this out, change different color schemes. I have these links in the program code and uh, links to the data as well. And uh, you should be all set to make your own graphs in SP map uh, in Stata. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.